Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is Thursday, March the 3rd, 2022, episode number 328 of your three business tips at three o'clock in and around three minutes. This week we're talking about sales. It is the bloodline of your company, small business owners, solopreneurs, what you sell determines primarily your income. And as you start out solopreneurs, most of that selling responsibility is going to fall on you. Even if you're the one training, it still comes back to you. Today we're going to talk about the system. We're going to talk about prospects, touch points, and follow-ups. Business tip number one. The most important thing that you can do is have a pipeline filled with leads and prospects. Whether you provide a service or you provide a a uh, product that you sell even online on your website you got to have eyeballs that see it or you got to have seats in the chairs that you're doing demos to you need to have some sort of systematic way of gaining and doing prospects here in my business i get prospects organically because we've had a website for over 10 years it's well optimized we use thumbtack and occasionally we have a referral program that goes on that incentivizes them what is the system in your organization that you get your prospects from Business tip number two, touch points. Just because somebody's interested in a website doesn't mean that they buy immediately. On average in my business, they gotta be touched a total of five times. Initial touch, quote, follow up, follow up, follow up, right, then close. How many touch points does it take for you by the time you have a good prospect to the time they actually pay? Not from the time they say yes, but from the time they say pay. Those are called touch points. Touch points could vary from different things like a phone call, an email, uh, on-site demo or follow-up or a zoom or whatnot so what are the touch points in your business and what is the system for working through them and how do you track that they go from this one to this one to this one to this one that's what I mean by touch points business tip number three follow-ups once you give them a quote once you've done all your demos once you've touched them usually people that get busy in life I deal with clients that are absolutely ready to buy on day one and they get busy they get a thousand emails they need follow-ups, phone calls, emails, and reminders. Even the ones that say yes need a reminder to do follow-up to, to get it all the way through the through the hoop. Even after we have a product delivered or you deliver, you need follow-ups thereafter. So that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about your systems for prospecting, for touching them, and for doing follow-ups. Systematize things. You can't scale and grow bigger until you have a system. That's what I'm learning this week. Anything I learn, I throw the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome and go back to sleep.